have been keeping track of their daily COVID cases, while another insidious crisis has been quietly becoming more and more deadly throughout this pandemic. Opioid overdoses in B.C. alone last month were the highest ever recorded 170 people in the month of May alone. Tonight, CTV's Melanie Neji has a rare look inside a treatment center that stayed open. In a Vancouver neighborhood full of tree-lined streets, there's a place 60-year-old Lori Vidler says saved her life. The drugs took over ev everything. Vidler, a grandmother, has long struggled with opioid addiction. If I had not made the choice to come in to the clinic, there is absolutely no question in my mind that I would be dead. The Commercial Health Centre, an outpatient rehab clinic, helped her kick street drugs by prescribing methadone. But when the pandemic hit, the clinic was uncertain it could stay open. Treatment centres across Canada have either closed or scaled back due to staffing shortages and physical distancing rules. There was many frantic phone calls. Dr. Carol Richford, the clinic psychiatrist, knew closing would put people at risk of relapse or overdose, so the doors remained open. This has been an incredibly stressful time on people, and we know that uh, People need to know that there's help out there for them. Since April, calls to the clinic have doubled. Staff have seen a surge in demand for substance abuse treatment. It's pretty paranoid. Bill Bingham started using when he was 11. He's been clean yeah. for a decade, but says the isolation that came with COVID-19 threatened his sobriety. Being alone and being in my head, a lot of times it's not a good place. Like, just not caring and going and getting loaded or... So what if you uh, overdose? Last month, five British Columbians died every day. Most were alone when they overdosed, a statistic that breaks Lori Vidler's heart. The addicts that have died during this pandemic, these are people's mothers, fathers, children. Since March, more than 400 people in B.C. have died of suspected overdoses. That's more than double the lives lost to the coronavirus. Melanie Nagy, CTV News, Vancouver.